that side isn't too terrible. Um, so this says, so here, a boat is being pulled in by a rope, there's the rope, on a winch at one meter per second. So before I do anything else, I'm actually going to label the length of the rope. Let's call it R, because it's changing. Right? Anything that's changing, it's a label, a variable label. How fast is the boat moving when it is 12 meters from the base of the dock, which is right here? So how fast is the boat moving? We're really asking kind of like, this distance here is changing. I'm going to call it X. So we're really asking, how, what is dx dt? So the first step, we've identified that dr dt is, technically it's negative one meter per second, because that length of r is getting smaller. And when we find dx dt, we're probably going to be getting a negative answer, which is fine, because again, that length should be getting smaller. We can still phrase our answer in the correct way. And then we're trying to figure out what dx dt is. So then the second thing we do after we identify what's changing is we write an equation relating the variables. Here it's going to be a Pythagorean theorem kind of thing. x squared plus 5 squared equals r squared. And we're going to differentiate everything with respect to t. The derivative of x squared is 2x times the derivative of x, which is dx dt. The derivative of 5 squared is 0. The derivative of r squared is 2r times the derivative of r, which is 0 dt. And I'm going to cancel the two, so I divide both sides by two. Plug in what we know. We know that hmm, we don't know x, but we actually do. Well, actually, no, we do know x, right? So they say, how fast is the boat moving when it is 12 meters from the base of the dock? So that's when x is 12, not when r is 12. But when it's 12 meters from the base, we're saying this distance is 12. So we have 12 meters times dx dt, which is what we're trying to find, equal to, I guess I could write dx dt in there, r. So we know that x is 12, we know that this is 5, we know that r is 13 meters, it's a Pythagorean triple. You could also solve, right, 12 squared plus 5 squared equals r squared. 144 plus 25 is 169, and the square of 169 is 13. So r is 13 meters, and dr dt we know is negative 1 meter per second. So we divide both sides by 12 meters, the meters cancel, you get, you get 13 times negative 1 over 12, so you get negative 13 over 12. The meters cancel, so you're still left with just meters per second. So if I was going to write out the answer, I would say, oh, I guess this is, this is step 20, 20 steps later. I would say that um, the boat is moving at 13, 12 meters per second. And I would write it as positive because they didn't really kind of say like to the left is negative, to the right is positive. It just happens that it's negative because x is getting smaller. The speed of the boat shouldn't be a negative number, it's still a positive number.